Hey guys, so one more day here at the shop and I have another box. Okay, so this one is going to be for all of you, my friends, that use a CO2 laser. So let's open it. I like these awesome little knives. This is pretty cool though. All right, I have one, two, three, four, and five. Let's check this out. All right, so I have five of these little boxes, and these little boxes here has something super nice. So, oh, this tape has a easy peel. No, I think it was me. So, uh, oh. Let's open up this. Use the bottom because let me let me spin it for you. Hop. Ooh, yep. We have some awesome black metal laser spray. It's a magic of laser. Professional black metal laser spray. This is for Montport. So look at this thing. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty can, it's pretty full, of course, brand new. Ooh. Anyways, so I'm gonna be testing this marking spray. Uh, I've been using other brands, but I never use this one, so I'm gonna use the marking spray. And if you don't know what marking spray does, uh, normally on CO2 lasers, you can't mark on metals unless you use marking spray. So what this does, you clean the surface, you spray really even. I want to read the instructions really quick and I'll give you a quick heads up of what you should do, what you should do not. <laughs> um, but as every spray, please do it on a ventilated spray. Not here, I'll do it outside. But you spray the surface of the metal that you want to engrave on your CO2 laser. And why not give it a try with a diode? I recommend over 20 watt diode laser for it or go super slow with multiple passes on a 10 watt. But 20 watt higher, a couple passes, a slow speed, it might work very well. I tried before with others uh, and it works fine. But this one is for Montport and I'm gonna give it a try. All right, so I was looking on the website the information about the spray because I want to give you the right answer for it. So of course you want to make sure that you shake this very well. There is a little fizzy digging there. So you want to make sure that this is shake very well. There ensuring that your surface is completely clean. So wipe it up and make sure that it's clean. You want to make sure that there is no particles. Use a, ni a nice IPA to clean it. 99% will do, and just wipe it up. Anything that they won't let any residue. So stay away from paper towels. Next, the thing, the next thing is apply the spray evenly, and it says that it has a anti-clog nozzle. So just spray very evenly. It will create a mist to make sure that you have thin coats. So put a first layer, thin coat layer. Don't try to do super wet layers. A wet layer means that when you're spraying, you have a build up and you see it's all wet. So just a mist, thin coat, let it dry for a couple of cycles and another thin coat and stuff like that. Cover it evenly. That's very important. Let it dry for about five to 10 minutes or speed up with a hair dryer or a heat gun for about two. This is important to understand. Um, when you're using a hair dryer or a heat gun, sometimes you see it dry, but the core, the base is not dry. So that can be a little bit tricky. I recommend to make sure, number one, that you are not in a very humid space. Number two, if you are using the heat gun and you see it already kind of a dry on the top, don't go and put it on your laser. Let it sit for a couple of seconds and see if that gets wet again. That means that the bottom or the base of that paint was not dry. So that's very important. 
Uh, number two, begin laser marking immediately after dry. So this is, apparently they want you to do this quick. You don't want this to be something that is sitting there for a couple of days before you engrave. I'm sure you can prepare, have an hour in between and whatnot, but that's important. Rinse after engraving, rinse all the excessive spray or wipe with a damp cloth. So I personally, I'm the kind of person that just put it under water or really sprinkle water with spray or something and, and wipe it off. So that's the instructions. Now, it doesn't say what is the minimum power that you are going to be using. Now, one of the things that I found on the website say, this spray works with glass or just metal. This spray can be applied not only to glass, but also to metal using a CO2 engrave it directly into the glass surface. So it will not be necessary to spray this spray on the glass. So, I mean, a CO2 laser can engrave directly onto glass surface. That's what they said here. I see a lot of people engraving in glass with a marking uh, tape on it, that orange tape they put in the engraving so the laser interacts. So I guess it can work. Now, will this work on glass? Say this spray can work on glass as well. So if you need a spray to make it work on glass, evidently will work based on the website. Uh, the can is about 14 ounces. Yeah, it is for 14 ounces. So I'm gonna get some of these going and see you in a minute. All right, so I did paint a dog tag because, I mean, it's a nice stainless steel, really nice and shiny. So it's probably one of the hardest one to do on the CO2 in my opinion. So look at this, it's like super even. I mean, the, the coat is pretty decent. So let's go to the laser and see how this goes. Uh, I'll probably put just a name or something here and see how it goes. So let's check this out. All right, so I have the Reno 45 Pro going. I have my little dog tag here. That's what I'm gonna use right now. And I'm gonna start my air because I don't know why this is going to be burning. So I'm gonna close it here and I open it here. Here we go. So now that I have this going, first of all, on the Reno, remember to use your focal little gauge. So it has this plunge here, like a little plunger, like a little stick that you put down for focal distance. So I'm gonna put it down so you can see there. I'm gonna lower the honeycomb so you see it. So I'm putting it here. And I'm gonna move this right under right now. So that's where it is. And I'm gonna raise my honeycomb. It's really easy to focus with this. So when this snap up, you're in focus. Almost there, there you go. So we are now in a good focal distance. So I'm gonna send this back home. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this side here. So the easiest way for me, honestly, uh, that I found sometimes doing these things is to send my laser to a, a specific position. So I'm gonna send it to the center of this. And now uh, I wanna send my laser to the center of that selection. So that, that's where my laser is right now. So I'm gonna put this right in the center of the dot just to make sure that I can frame properly. And this is vertical. So I'm gonna just look for the center right now, or at least close enough for me. So that looks pretty good. 
And this is a test. This is not a job. I'm not gonna jig the whole thing. Just wanna make sure that it's in place. So now I'm gonna hit frame. So I have this element there. I'm gonna frame it. It's a little bit too big, so I'm gonna make it smaller. Now I'm gonna frame it again. Okay, that, that works. I'm going to put it higher. One more frame. Won't hurt anyone. Alright, so I have this in place. I want to close this here. And I'm going to work on my settings. So, it didn't tell me exactly the settings for what I'm going to be doing right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with some settings. So first of all, this is going to be a fill, absolutely. The speed that I'm going to use, I wanna, I'm gonna use 300. The minimum power 20, the maximum power I'm gonna use is 90. And I'm going to do the 0 0.08. Probably should do a little smaller than that, but I'm not quite sure. And I also don't know if I need to do one pass or two passes. So I'm gonna go with this right now and I don't feel like these settings are too great. So I'm gonna do 200 on the engraving. It's metal either way. And I'm going to turn off the air assist. I don't want the air assist to be going. So I wanna set this. I'm starting my filter box. It's the best filter I can ever imagine using uh, nothing smell with that so we're ready to send this out and let me zoom in for you here that's as close as it goes but we'll see here goes nothing so let's try this send the job and it's a pretty fast engraving that's absolutely for sure let me show you how it's looking here. This little camera, I wanna show something else. It's almost done. It's not perfectly straight, but again, it's a test. So this is done. Let's take that out. Um, I'm in a zoom, so let's change the... Whoop. All right, so this is how it's coming out with a marking spray. Temperature-wise, it's not hot, so that's a good thing. So it feels like this something. It feels it feels a little bit rougher than the white. That's for sure. So we're gonna go and wash this and see how it comes out. So be right back. Right. So I just lasered that. It was super quick. Uh, definitely for the size and what I put on this one is just absolutely. I'm not using the phone, I'm not using nothing, so it's just the name. So please copyright, no one sue me. It's just a test. I'm not selling these things. But I'm gonna say one thing. I'm highly impressed. So I'm passing the nails and everything. And look at this thing. I used other marking sprays before. Uh, and this one is by far the one that leaves me the better results on the surface. So this is great. It looks amazing. It looks really, really good. And it took absolutely no time. Of course, it's a little bit finicky to frame these small things, especially because I have the back and it was stuck on the honeycomb. But the 
the results. I'm, I'm speechless. I didn't expect this, and I have a fiber laser and all that. So this was actually faster than doing annealing, uh, and didn't heat up the material. Now to wash, I was so blown away by it. I literally opened the sink, not even warm water, just opened the sink and put it in, and automatically everything disappeared. Like all the white stuff or grayish stuff that the spray has. All the residue, even on the corners. I was looking for the corners on this little thingy. Everything just vanished. Like as soon as you touch water, wash off. So I'm going to be doing a lot of tests with this. But I want to put the description uh, in the description below. I'm going to be putting a code so you can get it for, I think it's like a 50% off or something crazy. They're doing a huge sale right now in these guys. So this is Montport Black Metal Laser Spray. Magic of laser, I gotta say, it's like magic. Uh, look at this guy. I mean, that's that's a perfect result. And he's not leaving anything on the nails, and I'm scratching it, so works great. So that's an awesome job from Montport with this product. I use a couple other ones. I have good results also with other ones, but this is the first one that when I pass my finger on it i don't feel it's so rough it's rougher than definitely the metal but it feels like just a little bit rougher it's not like a grainy so it's working great go ahead guys get one two three i have five uh cans of this guy they're super super affordable right now it's probably the most affordable marking spray you can get and you are not going to regret it because if you have a CO2 laser with this, you can just get the piece of metal, spray it, and make a sign. And that will sell very well. You will change your life. I can promise you that. I will try it on glass and I'll let you know. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Sign up for the updates. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share the love. Leave us a comment below where you want to see this working. And... Fire the laser.